Well, a good friend of mine does one of these weekly blogs about all her goodies she finds over the weekend, so she encouraged me to do the same. So, so see, I have friends who really like that word. Um, anyway, I am doing the same thing, and I've got it all spread out on my kitchen table, which I found out is not easy to do in a household with two small children and a husband. Well, here we go. Um, what you're seeing is about $125 worth of purchases. And I'll start over here. I got this really cool hunting jacket. Um, it is by Lewis and Clark Outdoors. Got a really good deal on that. Uh, fake fruit. Oh my gosh, you guys. Fake fruit. I always do really well with fake fruit. I don't keep it in my store for very long. It sells. I got some funky fish pottery, some mid-century kind of looking stuff. I don't know, I go for the weird and the, and the funky stuff. Got this little stained glass quail. Oh, this is so cool. This is um, a sugar bouquets recipe thing made for a um, ceramic shortbread pan by the, the that brown cookie mold company. I don't know. I've always sold their cookie molds. Never sold anything big. So this looks pretty cool. And it's brand new on the box. And I've got this brand new Raggedy Ann and Andy figurine in the box. This is cool. This is this is a bank. You put your money in the top. It's wood. I guess it slides down, fills up. I don't know. It's going to be fun to kind of work with. Abalone shells. I sell these all the time. Abalone shells are good sellers for like 25 bucks a piece. So I always buy every one of those that I see. I got this funky looking storyteller figurine. I don't know. It was different. I'm trying to uncover what's underneath here for you as I go. This is Hall Pottery. Um, looked like a really cool thing. I don't normally go with big pieces of cookware, but it had a neat look to it, and uh, it was a name brand, so I got it. And this is a Paul Frank um, tote, which is in like brand new condition. It's got the little monkeys all over and kind of the camouflage. It's really cool. This is a six-foot growth chart and uh, like a tree. And it's brand new, and it's tube. It's the tallest tree. My kids will really like that. Puzzles. I got a couple of brand new puzzles, and I always pick up puzzles if they are sealed. I don't do if they are open, but if they are sealed, I will buy them and sell them. This is a audio book that looked interesting. I don't know if it's worth anything, but I like the cupie dolls on the front. So I got it. This guy got it at a yard sale for 75 cents. He's brand new. I have his box and his wrapping and everything. I just took him out for the video, but brand spanking new. So that'll be fun. Of course, you know me. I got to get my crazy cows in there. Got a couple of crazy cow figurines. Um, what else do we have? Oh, it's a cute little mouse print. It's got an artist's name, so we'll try that. And I got this cute little figurine. Cute little figurines. I always pick up cute little figurines. That's a music box. And then these are just a bunch of little animal figurines because they do really well with animal stuff. Animal people love animal stuff. Coffee mugs. I am always picking up cool looking coffee mugs and it's one of my highest selling categories, especially dogs, um, anything comic related. These I just thought were really neat with the red cardinals. Just another funky piece of pottery. Oh, and I got these. These are DeGrazia magnets. Got those at a yard sale. All right, this guy's too cool. I picked him up and put him down, picked him up and put him down. Ultimately, I ended up buying him because he's just too cool. He's very heavy. He's all made of shells. They carved out the top of the shells to make a, a planter or a kind of a vase thing out of them, but he's just way cool. Had to have him. I've been having trouble keeping this away from my daughter. Brand new in the package, PJ Sparkles. Ooh, she's been trying to steal that ever since I found it at a yard sale this weekend. Got these really cool plates. Now again, I don't normally do collector plates, um, but because these are red and white and they're transferware, 
and they're kind of different. I went ahead and got them in there. I can't even read what that says. It's too early in the morning. But they're from France, made in France. Okay, these lights. I got this one and this one, and they are the coolest things. I got them at a yard sale. I'm not even gonna tell you the price I paid for them because it's crazy. It was just crazy. I don't want those people ever to look at my video and be upset that they sold them to me for so cheap. But they said their dad made these. And uh, they had one more, but it would have been really, really hard to ship because it was a big, tall thing. But these two were just really cool. So I can't wait to get those listed. All right. This I just had to pick up. This is like some cool rodeo parade men's vintage shirt. It's got the little fringe all over. I love fringe. So we'll see what that does. It was, you know, something different. And I got a cool hat. It's got a name on it. I always pick up stuff with names. You know, stuff with names usually you, you can at the very least make your money back. So buy at the right price. And okay, that was so not cool. My battery just died. Had to go find some new batteries to put in here to wrap this up. But um, I will try to do one of these blogs every week so you can see my latest goodies and get an idea of what kind of stuff is selling good from the perspective of utterly good stuff um, and I hope you will visit my store and take a look and watch a few things and and um, if I can help you learn something I hope I can do that so we can all make some money thanks see you next week